This week, you guys, we're gonna switch up our normal grocery haul routine just a little bit. What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kira if you are new and typically on Tuesdays I do my very best to share my weekly grocery haul and meal plan for my family of six but I'm going to share that with you tomorrow. Today I'm going to share with you my large party haul. There were some regular groceries in there but for the most part I went to Sam's and to Costco to get things that I needed for Jake's graduation party and Maya's birthday party. I am tapped out you guys. It has been a long week and to be honest I struggled a little bit this weekend. I was hoping to get this video out to you on Saturday or on Sunday but between Jake's graduation and his party I was trying so hard to just be in the party mode and I was struggling. It was hard to throw a party knowing that my family was home attending a funeral. It was just weird for me to be in happy mode when everybody in my family was in such sad mode. So I know that it'll be different and it'll be more like fun and exciting when we do a graduation party for Jake on Long Island with our family. But for now, it was hard this weekend. I didn't vlog as much as I intended. I didn't put the videos out like I intended just because I was just enough for me to get through the day. But it was exciting to see Jake graduate. I'm really proud of him. And it was a small but fun, intimate party on Sunday. So now here we are and I'm going to share with you my super large, I don't even know what we ended up at somewhere I think between seven and eight hundred dollars like I said I am tapped out groceries are expensive gas is expensive it has been a very expensive week but I still have tons to share with you so I'm going to bring you down to the counter I'll show you what I got at Sam's what I got at Costco and then tomorrow you guys will see Walmart and the meal plan all right, you guys, so here is a quick overview of $393 from Sam's Club, as well as some non-food items down here, well, drinks and cups. So I guess I'll just start off with what's on the floor. So I did get a 40 pack of 16.9 ounce water bottles. I bought these congrats grad 2022 labels that are meant to go around water bottles and so i'm just going to go ahead and wrap all the labels around these and use them as favors as well as you know water to drink for the party and then i did get a the 28 pack party pack of soda it's 12 cherry pepsi eight crush and eight mug root beer i will get some other sodas from walmart as well and then i got this big pack of 180 party cups i actually think it's going to be better since i'm having this at a hotel and i don't have a lot of access to refrigeration i think that i'm just going to bring one cooler full of ice and then put all the sodas and waters and everything beside it this way it saves and condenses on space and then people can just go ahead and just use the party cups i also bought something really cool from amazon that holds the cups with little markers so you can personalize the cup so you know that it's yours i thought that was really really cute and then it'll go perfect with the cups there's yellow blue purple and green so that's really cute and i figured the extra we can use for maya's birthday party so i did go ahead and grab those Paul saw these, he was with me in the store and he went ahead and put these in the cart. One of his favorite cookies are the white macadamia nut. This is the three pack of cookies. I'm not sure how much is in here. I think a dozen and a half. I think it's six of each flavor. So it looks like six oatmeal raisin, six of the white macadamia nut, and then six of the chocolate chip. So he grabbed those. I grabbed a bunch of organic bananas. I did grab some cherries and then some grapes. I was thinking originally of doing like a vegetable and a fruit platter, but I think we're going to have more than enough food. I think I'm going to save the produce for my kiddos because now they're home for the summertime. We definitely go through extra produce. So I think I'm going to save that for that. I did grab this party set. I think this party set was such a great investment. It was $34.95 and I think it's going to be perfect for me to use for Jake's graduation party, but then for me to keep on reserve because I'm always throwing events and birthday parties and things like that. And I haven't had a sterno set in a long time. So this is a 24 complete set 
with six of the aluminum size half tray pans, three large full size water pans, three sterno racks, six of the heat safe little sternos that actually light the flame, and then three serving tongues and three serving spoons. So I think that's really awesome. I mean, I have serving spoons and tongs, but the idea of having the wire racks with the pans and the reusable sterno trays, like all of that for me is just really good to have. I used to own them when I lived on Long Island, and then when we moved to South Carolina, I didn't bring it with me. I never invested there. It's been a long time, like I said, since I've owned good wire rack. So I was glad to find that. I did go ahead and grab the Members Mark Disinfecting Wipes. I usually just grab the Lysol, but this was on sale for $9.98. I do usually get five packs with the ones from Lysol, but I also liked the idea that this has a different scent. So it looks like one fresh, two lemon, and one orange, and usually we only get fresh and lemon with the Lysol scent. So I like the idea of switching it up and having the orange. I definitely enjoy scented stuff. If you guys know me, you watch my empties where you see any of the cleaning supplies that I get. I am all about set. Uh, I did go ahead and pick up these Hershey Kisses for Maya's Pinata. I didn't want to get too much chocolate. It's hot, even though we're not going to be outside for too, too long. Even just transportation in the car, I didn't want a whole bunch of chocolate to melt, but I thought the Kisses were perfect. This said it was a summer pack, has birthday cake, regular milk chocolate, and then cookies and cream. So I'm going to go ahead and use that, like I said, for her pinata. I did get the 24 pack of the soft and fluffy homestyle tortillas so we can use those for the taco portion of Jake's graduation party. Those are the tomatoes I'm going to go ahead and cut up. I need that for the guacamole and then again for people to dress their tacos. I did get a 12 pack of the Mike's hard lemonade. There is... What flavors are in here? Hard mango, hard lemonade, hard black cherry, and hard strawberry. So I thought I would use that for Jake's graduation party as well as I got two things of iceberg lettuce for the tacos. I was out of any kind of Italian seasoning, so I saw the Kinder's Italian blend with olive oil and sea salt, so we're gonna go ahead and give that a try. And then I got, of course, the Daisy Sour Cream. We use that anyways, but we'll definitely need that for tacos. And then I bought this thing of ground beef. I thought this was pretty good. It's four and a half pounds, 88.12, for $14.39. I have some ground beef here, but I pretty much would have wiped myself out for what I have on hand for Jake's party. So I got this and I figured I won't even need to freeze it. I'll just be able to just cook this up for the party. That should be more than enough because I'm also going to do chicken tacos as well. So that ground beef should do it. Uh, we got two packs of the Gillette. I bought one and uh, Paul bought one because this was such a great deal. It was on sale for $12 and there's five of the Gillette Clear Dry Tech Cool Wave deodorant. This is all our favorites. We all love the clear gel and we all love the Gillette Cool Wave scent and to get five for $12 was a pretty good deal. So like I said, we each bought a five pack and we're just going to stick them in the cabinet since Jake uses it, Daryl uses it, and Paul and myself. So that should last us for a little while. I got a four pack of avocado so I can make the guacamole. I thought these summer plates were perfect for the graduation. I'm not sure how many are in here, 50. So that'll be more than enough for dinner food. I did buy graduation plates, but I think I'm just gonna use the graduation plates that I bought from the Dollar Tree for dessert. They're not the greatest quality to hold things heavy like tacos. I'm also doing chicken parm with Caesar salad and garlic bread. Those are all really heavy things and without a good quality plate, I just feel like it wouldn't hold up. And any leftovers we can use for Maya's birthday party as well. So I went ahead and grabbed those. I did get another box of the bigger bags of chips because this is what I'm gonna put out for Jake's graduation party and whatever is left over, I'm gonna use for Maya's party. Again, they're the bigger bags. 
but I don't want a whole bunch of bowls of chips out that everyone's gonna stick their hands in and eat. So I thought the smaller bags would be better. So there's three barbecue, seven plain, seven of the nacho cheese Dorito, four Cool Ranch, four Fritos, and five Cheetos. And if someone wants to do a walking taco, they'll have Fritos or Doritos to choose for that, plus regular chips and the Cheetos for someone to pick on if they're looking for something snacky. Uh, we got two different kinds of batteries. I needed double A's for all of my candles that you can see those ones that come on. I change the batteries for them once a month and I have so many of them that I probably go through three quarters of a pack of batteries. So I'm forever buying double A's. So I grabbed a 48 pack of it and then Paul went ahead and grabbed some D batteries. He needs to replenish all of his flashlights. We had a power outage like a couple of weeks back and he went to grab a flashlight and all of his flashlights batteries were dead. And I'm sure that has a lot to do with my children. So we got a 12 pack of D batteries to replenish all of the flashlights. We were completely out of sugar and I meant, went to make sweet tea and of course can't make sweet tea with no sugar. I made a pot of sauce tonight and didn't have sugar so definitely need to uh, add a little sugar to my sauce and refill our container. So I got the 10 pound bag of it. Got the three pack of the Heinz tomato ketchup, especially since it's summertime. We'll definitely go through ketchup. So the three pack was perfect. Got the 180 piece of the premium plastic cutlery. There's 60 forks, 60 spoons, and 60 knives. So I'll bring this for Jake's party, and then I'll also bring this for Maya's. I only got a 24 pack of silverware with her um, party pack that I bought. And so if by some chance we have additional people and we need more, the silver will still go really good with her princess theme. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Got some of the Rico's Gorgeous gourmet nacho cheddar cheese. This is a huge can. I'm definitely going to have tons of extra of this cheese. Like we're not going to need all of this for the tacos. But the last time I bought this giant Rico's can, I was able to figure out that you could freeze this with no problem. So I'll be able to use half the can and make a queso for everybody to use for the tacos. And then what's left over, I'll portion out and freeze because we use this to make homemade Arby's. When football season starts, we're always using nacho cheese to dunk like pretzels in and stuff like that so I went ahead and grabbed that I think that'll be a good investment like I said since I can freeze some went and grabbed another thing of Clorox too we ran out and I had to get it from Walmart I don't normally do that it's not the better deal so I grabbed another one so I can have it on backup and I would not be without again and then holy chips you guys but this is not for the party but it is kind of for the party so i'll explain that as we go but i did find the members mark churro twist so somebody sent me a couple of screenshots of some churro items that they found in their sam's that i was on the hunt for because you guys saw i bought a ton of churro items the last time i went to sam's the only thing we ate so far was the big churro cookies we still have the place and bake ones and we didn't use the crunchy chips yet we're going to use that for jake's graduation party with some cannoli dip so i haven't tried everything just yet but these churro twists look exactly like cinnamon twists from taco bell and being that we're doing a taco theme I thought the charo twists would kind of fit really good so I grabbed those and I will put those in a bowl and then I did get the on the border cantina thins these ones will have to go in a bowl also because they don't sell any kind of tortilla chip in individual bags I did like I said get the box for the things like the Doritos and Fritos and stuff but if somebody wants to make nachos then I wasn't gonna have anything for them to have that with. So I did get the on the border cantina thins and the only two bowls will be the churros and these. And then I got three different things of popcorn because I'm going to use these as favors. So for a while, Sam's was carrying these gourmet popcorn bags. It was like three for $15 or something like that. And it was all these different flavors of gourmet popcorn, everything from pickle and birthday cake and cookies and cream and all the things. And so I planned to go there and get a bunch of different bags because I'm using popcorn as Jake's favor for his, um, 
graduation party, I bought big cello bags that say congratulations grad, and I wanted to stuff them with popcorn because Jake's favorite thing is popcorn and water. So I thought that would be cool favors to have the water set up and bags of popcorn, and those are things that people could take on the way out. So I got three different kinds of popcorn so I can go ahead and fill them. So I got just the plain, regular, buttered, skinny pop popcorn. Jake loves this. This is, I just got this, a big bag for him. Not this big, but a decent sized bag from Walmart when I did grocery shopping last week. So I know that um, Jake will enjoy this, like if he had some of that. And then everybody rants and raves about the GH Creters or Critters. That's the cheese and caramel mix. So I did grab that so I can go ahead and make those. And then I also found the Hershey's Cookies and Cream. So between the three of them, I'll have enough to make bags of popcorn for everyone. And then these I saw and I had to pick them up because if you guys remember, when I went to Sam's last time, I got that Mexican like sweet corn popcorn because I thought it was Mexican street corn flavored popcorn and it wasn't. It was Mexican sweet corn. It's still good, but I'm not really one for sweet popcorn like that. It doesn't really do anything for me, but I saw Mexican style street corn flavored tortilla chips. These are not going to go for the party. I'm going to just save those for here, but those are definitely for mama. I love anything street corn flavored. So I was excited to see those. Uh, I got a watermelon. I'm going to cup that up for dessert as well as I got this tuxedo bar cake. We have a cake that we ordered from Dunkin Donuts Baskin Robbins like an ice cream cake but I'm not sure again if I'm going to have access to anything refrigerated or frozen so now that I know that I'm having it in a place where I might not be able to keep it originally it was an airbnb i was like okay i'll have a freezer but now that that's not the case i'm not sure if we're going to be able to bring that so i still want to make sure i have enough desserts i did freeze the black and white cupcakes from walmart this week so i will have the black and white cupcakes i'm going to make some brownies i'm going to make a pecan pie in the crock pot because that's a cookbook recipe anyways so I'll kill two birds with one stone um and then i'll cut up the watermelon and we'll have this tuxedo cake this way if we can't bring the ice cream cake we'll save that for home and we'll still have a lot of dessert and I think it's really cute it has little like diploma candies can you guys see that on the corner of all you know each corner it has a little tuxedo cake and then it has a little diploma and I know it's probably hard to see it's a reflection but it has a little 2022 pick there so I thought that was cute to bring towards the party and then something else for Maya's pinata is a 200 pack of Sour Patch Kids, Sour Patch Kids Watermelon, the Tropical, and then Swedish Fish. This was the best deal that we could find of something that didn't really have chocolate in it that I felt like my kids would still enjoy. I may save some of this and use it for other things and buy one more thing of candy. This way it's still more of a variety, but we'll see. I've already spent a ton on candy and stuff for this party, so we'll see when it gets a little closer, but uh, I did go ahead and grab that, and then we were completely out of paper plates for ourselves, so I got the members mark, the ultra paper plates, the 204 count, but all right, you guys, that was my $393 from Sam's Club. Stay tuned. You we're going to see a Costco haul right after this. All right, you guys, so here is a quick overview of $325 from Costco. I just do have a couple of non-food items down here, and I did forget to share with you something that I got at Sam's because this was in my purse, and this morning when I took it out to get gifts ready for Maya's dance teachers, I realized that I didn't share this with you. So part of yesterday's total, the $3.93 from Sam's Club was also this $30 pack of Starbucks gift cards. It was three $10 gift cards and it was $28.60. So you save $1.40, which in my opinion is great because you're going to buy the gift cards anyways. So I did go ahead and grab those from Sam's. Otherwise, the rest of the stuff I just picked up from Costco. Some of it's for the party. Most of it was regular groceries because this was supposed to be my regular weekly stop anyway. So one thing that I did get is the Garden Fresh Organic Jack's Cantina Salsa. So I will use this for the, like, you know, just to put out.
out with the taco bar, but also so I'm gonna mix some of this in to that condensed Rico's cheddar to make like a queso. So I went ahead and grabbed the big thing of that. It is three pounds, so that should be more than enough. I did go ahead and grab some bacon. It's four one pound packages. It was up to $20, but just the price of groceries. But I'd rather four pounds of bacon than chicken nuggets for the price, if that makes sense. I mean, you're getting something better for your body with the chicken nuggets, but I just think like a bigger bang for your buck is the bacon, but needless to say, we got four pounds of bacon that'll last us a good long while. And then I did get some pork loin chops. These are the bone-in kind. Last week I bought some boneless and then I still have some ribs from the week before. And we only do pork once a week. So with this added to the freezer, we'll be good for the whole rest of June on pork products. And then I got this pull-apart cheese bread. I got it the last time I went to Costco, but a whole bunch of us were putting the groceries away. And somebody put this away in the pantry, whether it was Daryl, or Paul I'm not sure but they weren't with me to know that I grabbed it from the refrigerator so I never noticed it in the pantry and then one day I saw it and it was so swelled from being you know not good anymore so I never got a chance to even try it so I wanted to purchase it again because I heard this is amazing and there's two loaves inside so it says pull apart cheese bread and it's filled with cheeses garlic and herbs and it's all cut down there and you make it all yummy and delicious and you pull it apart so everybody's been raving about it we just haven't got a chance to try it yet so I got that again got some of the seasoned organic croutons I need that for the Caesar salad for Sunday Day. and then this is something I had not seen before it was $9.99 but I thought this was perfect for having the kids home figured maybe once a week we can just bake a place and bake cookies and that could be the snacks that they pick on for the week I mean you guys will see I did not buy one snack and you saw yesterday pretty much all the chips and everything I bought were for parties we don't have a lot of snacks for them to snack on and so I thought this would be good they like to bake they like cookies and this was a a good compromise I guess so it's the Mrs. Fields premium cookie dough variety pack there's a 12 birthday celebration 12 semi-sweet chocolate 12 lemon and 12 sugar cookies so 48 place and bake cookies for the 10 bucks Mrs. Fields I thought that was great uh, these were on sale for $4.49 and I just wanted to grab some reusable masks for the kids we're completely out and my kids are super adamant about still wearing their mask I mean when we're out in the stores unless we're in a really really busy place I haven't been wearing a mask anymore it's not mandatory here but the kids still wore them every single day to school. I tried to tell them that they didn't have to anymore and they were extremely animate. I mean, this is for both of them, their first full school year without being interrupted by the pandemic. And so I think they're just so used to it. And I still have a bunch of the reusable ones that we wash all of the time, but the kids like to have a fallback of the disposable ones. So like I said, there's 50 in here, 10 different mask designs, and I just throw them them in the glove compartment of my car and I always have them on hand for when the kids ask for them. Uh, I did get this bowl set. It was $10 and it looks like glass but it's not. It's beveled plastic but it's a really heavy duty beveled plastic but why I like it is because it also came with lids. So this is an eight piece set there's two of the bigger ones, one medium size, one smaller, and all have lids. And I just thought, especially for the party, chips and stuff that we were going to keep out and salads and everything like something like this would be really really useful so I went ahead and grabbed that uh, I got a 24 pack of the organic large browns Kirkland eggs Maya was with me and she saw the corn and she was like oh yeah mama we need corn on the cob it's definitely the season for that so I'll put four in the fridge and I'll freeze four the organic strawberries looked beautiful and they were on sale for $5.99, which is such a great price for a two pound container of organic strawberries. So we got that um, pretty pricey. Let me flip this over. Uh, instead of being 99 cents, it's a dollar. 
$49 now, so it's a little bit more than I'm used to paying for these $14.51 for two of them, but it is two separate meals. I do put one in the rotisserie, and then we'll do one in the oven for a meal. The one in the rotisserie, I'll pull for like chicken quesadillas, we'll do chicken salad. I use all the bones, and I dwindle it down, and I make broth, so we get a lot out of what we make, what we purchase rather, but it's crazy just to see how much, you know, the prices have shot up. Uh, a three pack of the organic English cucumbers. Of course, as soon as Maya saw the salad, she went ahead and threw the creamy dill pickle chopped kit in our cart. That's green and red cabbage, cauliflower, green leaf lettuce, kale, dill pickle, brioche croutons, feta, dill pickle seasoning, and then a dill pickle ranch dressing. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's summertime. You totally can hear my kids yelling and having a good time in the background. Anyways, it's Taylor Farms. It's two uh, packages here, and that'll make Maya happy. She'll have salads for lunch, especially being home for the summer. And then again, Maya being with me, she was like, Mom, Mason and I don't like the pouches anymore. We're too old for that, which I don't really think Mason agrees, but she asked if we could try the parfaits this time. There's eight in here, four mango pineapple and four super fruit, and they both have like a little bit of a granola. And I didn't mind this because the pouches are really convenient for lunch boxes, but now that it's the summertime and they can sit and eat a yogurt with a spoon, I thought this would be kind Kind of cool, cool to go ahead and check out and see if this is something that they would enjoy. This one has rolled oats, coconut, and chia. This one has rolled oats, flax, and hemp. So it's really good for them. So we'll, we'll see how this works out. Uh, I did get our Kirkland organic fruit and vegetable pouches, 12 apple strawberry spinach, 12 apple mango yellow carrot peach, and my kids love those. Uh, I picked these up with Jake in mind. He's been enjoying the egg rolls I mentioned. So I thought maybe taquitos would be something he liked. These are by El Monterey and it's Mexican Grill Chicken and Cheese Taquitos. So I figured, like I said, he loves anything Tex-Mex combined with the idea of it like an egg roll feel. So I got that and there's a lot in here, right? How many are in here? Oh, 30. So that'll last him a good long while. Uh, Maya picked up the Fruit by the Foot. There's 24 berry tie-dye, 12 blue raspberry tie-dye, and 12 strawberry tie-dye. So there's 48 rolls in each. And Maya wants to use those for her goodie bags for her birthday party. So I told her I thought that was a good idea. So we grabbed those. Uh, we picked out our mac and cheese. This is the 12-pack Annie's Organic Variety Pack. There's four shells in real aged cheddar, four of the shells in white cheddar, and then four of the macaroni and a classic cheddar. And then, oh my goodness, you guys, I bought a case of Red Bull. I have never done this. The only time I've ever even bought anything Red Bull-like is when I go to Aldi. But this was originally $42, but it was $8 off. So it was $34. Bucks. And and it's 24 of the 8.4 ounce can. So I actually think that that's not so bad because this is the $2 can when you go to any kind of gas station or convenience store or something like that. This is the $2 can. So I mean, this would be $48 if you paid for it in the convenience store, which makes sense that it was 42 bucks in a bulk store. But then to take another $8 off of that, I just thought that was such a good deal. So I did grab that as a treat for myself. They had the Rojo's street corn dip. So we just talked about my love for street corn. So I will bring this to the party, but this is a huge container. So I'll be able to leave this home as well. But it's corn, green chilies, cheddar, and cotija cheese in the mild. So that sounds so, so yummy. Uh, speaking of cheese, I loaded up on cheese because we have none in the freezer, but we're also having a taco party. So how do you have a taco party without cheese, right? So I got a two pound block of the Colby Jack and then four pounds of sharp cheddar. So we'll shred the Colby and the sharp cheddar and freeze them. And then the bottom sharp cheddar we will shred and bring to the party. Uh, I did end up getting juice boxes for the party because I also have to supply juice boxes for Maya's birthday party. And so whatever we don't use for the party on Sunday, then I'll just save for two weeks and we'll use it for Maya's party. So there's 40 100% Capri Sun juice pouches in here, 20 fruit punch, 10 berry, and 10 apple. 
This butter was standing up, but it got knocked over. I want to guess who was prowling around trying to attack the butter. Yeah, I'll only give you one guess. And his name starts with an O and ends with Lover. Uh, my cat absolutely loves stinking butter. So if you have butter around, he tries to get it. So this is the Kirkland Salted Sweet Cream. There's four pounds in there. Each pound has four four ounce sticks. So I usually go ahead and pick that up and then stick it in the freezer. And then lastly, our other uh, two non-food items is the Kirkland Signature Healthy Weight Dog Food Formula. This stuff is the closest to what our vet said that they would like us to have. They are very disappointed with Ruby and her weight when we went there, which I'm pretty surprised about because I feel like she's lost a lot of weight since Bruno has been here because she's very active with him and Ruby hasn't been to the vet in a year and they put her on a diet a year ago and we brought her back for weight che um, checks and they were very happy with where she was at and she's at the same weight still she didn't lose any weight which I'm again surprised about but they're not happy with that weight this year. So I don't know, one more, more year now and they want her to slim down a little bit more. So they put her on a pretty crucial diet and a healthy weight dog formula was something that they specified. I showed her that I get this one from Costco and she looked at the ingredients and said she was happy with it. So if my vet is fine with it, I'm fine with it. So it says formulated with chicken and vegetables made with fresh chicken and it has all the omega fatty acid nutrition and probiotics that the older dogs are supposed to need as well as healthy weight. So I got that for Rubes. And then of course, just one bag of the clean Mortons and protect water softener pellets for my water softener. But all right, you guys, that was a lot. I'm exhausted. It's been a rough two days and I still have to go tomorrow morning and get a pickup from Walmart. You guys will see that as a regular Tuesday grocery haul because that'll have the last of the few things that I need for the party, like those little mini taco shells and just a few things that I can only get. I want to get a couple of six packs more of drinks. So I don't really want to get that from like a big store because they only had big bulky packs. So I want to get a couple of six packs and then I just need a few things to go with the rest of the meals for the week. So you guys will see that with the meal plan on Tuesday, but for now I have to go ahead and put all of this stuff away. I still have all of yesterday's party stuff already packed up and stacked up of the things that I need to bring to the venue and everything. So I am exhausted, you guys. It is gonna be a long couple of days, but I'm excited to take you guys with me. So, all right, that was it for Costco and Sam's Club. All right, you guys, so that's it for today's video. No giveaway. That'll be in tomorrow's video when I share with you the actual normal weekly grocery haul and meal plan. This was kind of just a bonus grocery haul for you guys, like I said, mostly because it was a ton of party stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new, because if grocery haul content is something you love, it's something that is full on this channel. Otherwise, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.